staying true to its philosophy of offering true blue SUVs, Mahindra and Mahindra has launched the Thar Rocks, which is also the five-door version of its popular SUV Thar. Tell us more about the development process, the challenges that the engineering team faced and how they were overcome. We have with us R. Velusami, President, Technology and uh, Product Development, Mahindra and Mahindra's Automotive Division. Uh, Velu, thanks for sparing your time. Hi. Congratulations on the launch, but tell us three key challenges that you and your team had in front of you when you were developing this, started developing this three years ago? Three years ago. So when we launched the uh, three-door Thor, uh, we realized, you know, the three-door Thor, we factored some volume and then when we launched, it went for a spin, yeah? the, the volume went exponentially high and then, then we have to... And then we really thought that product is a mainstream product. But any brand or any product that comes out of Thor brand has to be a mainstream product. Um, the three-door Thor, if you will see it, uh, if you have to add one more door, um, you, nearly, uh, you, you nearly need about four or five hundred millimeters to mm. be added to this. So that means the wheel which was here or out here in the three-door Thor has to move out. Mm. So uh, this is a four meter, uh, three-door Thor is a four meter and this is a 4.4 uh, Three, five, something like that. That's the length of this. 435 millimeters length is increased. When you increase the length, uh, the SUV of course becomes a bigger one. And then the body mass increases. You increases. Know? And then you need to handle that body mass against the roll because... How much is it thought. heavier by now? Uh, so you cannot compare it directly with the three-door thought because that is a uh, you have <laughs> convertible, soft top, and then plastic roof. Um, I don't have a the direct version comparison, uh, but there is a rooftop, uh, the, uh, the plastic version, and then a competitor. Mm. My metal version is very similar to the, the plastic roof. Okay. So that means it's extremely uh, very well engineered because mm. the material cost is one of the very, very prime component uh, that you have to get the weight down, stiffness up for mm. the body and the frame. That's why you are able to extract the, uh, the money. Right. Uh, you. Um, so, and then we wanted a seven, eight, nine millimeter tire, mm. which I'm wanting to explain, a number that you can every, every time remember. Mm. Uh, that gives a wheel arch and that puts a pressure onto the seating position right. because the, mm. the seat that sits in the floor yeah. Uh, have to accommodate the wheel, mm. uh, always the wheel has to be behind the second seat. Okay. Uh, in order to get a right, uh, the right the space for the leg space for the second row, you need to have certain wheel base. So the one is the door, another is the what leg room that you get it. That's the second piece. And there it is, okay, after achieving that the required uh, wheel base of 2850, what's the body uh, mass and how are you going to bring it to mainstream? Yeah. That's the three fundamental uh, thing that we try to address. Of course, then you always do uh, technology adoptions that mm. you do, mm. uh, which which is a uh, carry forward from uh, we did it for X, 3XO mm. and then we brought it for Fido uh, for um, Thorax <laughs> for right. Rocks. Yeah. Right. So uh, uh, this is a all new platform. Yes. And you have also done a lot of uh, engineering uh, interventions in, in, in enhancing the driving dynamics because at the end of the day, it's also a body and frame uh, vehicle, which means uh, there will be this bound to some uh, role and uh, no, pitch you know, uh, given the architecture. So uh, how have you tried to contain that? Because uh, that so if you, for, uh, for it to become mainstream, that has to be contained. Yes. So uh, I'm sure you have seen the morning presentation. I'm sure you are getting a copy of that. Um, it's a completely new frame, 18% uh, 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 less mass. Um, so therefore, what happens? Uh, the frame and body are sitting on the spring. Mm. So if you reduce the mass of this uh, body and the frame, then you put a soft spring. Um, that's the most important thing. That's you have. You might have seen in the morning presentation. Uh, that's a the 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 best uh, weight for the body, best weight for the frame. That's the number one thing to achieve. Once you have achieved this, uh, we we got the completely new front uh, double wishbone suspension system. Uh, I had explained that the front bush 
typically uh, is the handling bush and the rear bush is typically the uh, the bush for ride so when the tire moves around it hits an undulation the whole load goes to the the rear bush and then the the load comes to the passenger uh, typically you have both the bushes of the same stiffness and it takes equal load and the asymmetric design that we explained in the morning uh, the rear bush is converted to comfort bush which is 90 kg per millimeters and uh, this is 1300 mm uh, kg per millimeter deflection it's a very stiff bush that is acting only when you are cornering it is holding the vehicle so that design when we brought it we kind of delink the the ride and handling problem uh, because this body uh, is a taller body and it will have a force uh, centrifugal force so you need uh, the handling bush independent of the ride bush otherwise the handling behavior of this in a cornering manner of this body will influence the ride and and you need this wheelbase to get this so therefore we have to completely redesign this front suspension and that is how we got it and then you saw uh, the damper technologies right. the the frequency dependent damper and and, and all the damping and how many pa uh, patents you must have filed uh, so about the, you know the m glide platform we had uh, 60 plus patents mm -hmm. and, and with this you have also uh, added adas into the thar brand i mean like when 3xo comes with adas yeah. you will obviously bring it here so yeah you know mahindra going forward all mahindra vehicles will have this test as a uh, Vijay explained it is a democratization of the technology. So then you bring all the technologies into the products, whether it's a rear view camera, the ADAS, ESP, six airbags, three seat, uh, three point seat belt, all these stuff. So you get it. You you want to give it to our customers, right? Yeah. Elevate the experience of Indian customer safety. You are always looking for five star safety. Uh, we do not believe compromising any of these technologies to our customers plush interiors, uh, rich looking interiors, Adidas technology, all of them you have to give it to our customers. You have to democratize, let everybody enjoy. Right. And, and and this one, are you confident of having a 5 star GN cap or BN cap rating? Anything that comes out of Mahindra, it has to be 5 star. <laughs> <laughs> this will be. Okay. okay. But the, it is up to the agency to pick it up, test it and uh, uh, declare the results. I can't, mm -hmm. I can't say it is a BN cap 5 star. But it is, I can say very clearly, this is designed for meeting five star mm -hmm. rating. And talking about uh, this is uh, the, the the electric thar which you had showcased last year at the, the, the concept. That is a concept. Yeah, yeah, that's a concept. Uh, is this is, will this platform also be uh, electrifiable? I am uh, right now. Uh, though that platform is very different from this platform. Okay. This is an ice platform. Okay, it's an all 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 ice platform. And talking about technology, I mean, you had also uh, uh, developed a hybrid technology at some point, and uh, one of the last where where you explored and did some advanced engineering was also on the uh, with the Marazzo, which I believe performed very well. Is that something that's in your kitty that you can bring it whenever? I think we are committed to EV, so we are fully focused on EV. Okay. And, and uh, generally talking about, uh, no, and since you are also responsible for product development, in the SUV market, how do you see it progressing? Because there is also a viewpoint that any, any body type, for example, uh, anything, uh, any product, that uh, any style, there could be a fatigue level at some point. Yeah. So, and which could affect the entire industry. So, uh, what is your view on that? And uh, generally for the SUV, this wave, which is we are witnessing for a long time now, it's continuing. Do you see it uh, progressing uh, no? for the foreseeable future? Uh, let's let's understand the reason for people liking SUV. Uh, you you have a large window here, and you you have a seating position that gives you the leg falling down and not stretching out, and then going down and sitting in like in sedan. So you have an, uh, roughly a good height of the hip location and then a point which are very important when you are traveling for four hours, five hours, even when you are traveling in a thick traffic, you want to see ahead what is lying there. So that is why SUVs are famous and, and another is the roominess that you get it out of this, uh, um, the SUVs, uh, the leg space, uh, shoulder, headroom. All of these spaces are so important for customers nowadays and that is why SUVs are very, very popular. Not that uh, people are loving to buy the SUV. By the way, these requirements 
of the the visibility position uh, the uh, side visibility of the windshield and all this it is also giving in the giving the designers to design it very well so they look nice you have to have height right for a vehicle for a longer vehicle you have to have a height you cannot you, it cannot be a limousine kind of thing right so the sedans are kind of limousine so so there is a reason why customers are rejecting the sedans that is the reason so you pick up that emotion sentiments and then on the top then how do you play with technology how do you play with uh, uh, this kind of cars where it, the rock, thor rocks everybody loves it yeah? right. that's only because it, it's a, it's a silhouette of this car right it's it, it's it's a thing so in a way you have to see what customers are liking it and how do you make it work for them is the most important thing. and that's what we try to do okay uh, on on that note uh, will always a pleasure talking to you and especially when it comes to you know the themes of uh, technology and engineering you and your team at mrv are getting increasingly busier just to get a give a glimpse of what it's happening how many projects you must be working on currently so the, we are fully working on electric and then upcoming all ice refreshers and uh, of course and the cv there are uh, projects that are going on so everywhere so the commercial segment lastly since uh, no, uh, we are here with the rocks uh, what did you who did you benchmark of course you cannot disclose but uh, what are the uh, what kind of uh, products so we wanted to match it to xuv 700 Okay, we know the people love XUV 7W. We have so many customer feedback uh, that they love the XUV 7W. Wow. As I explained, uh, our chief medical officer was a doctor, and he he did he's an orthopedist, and he worked in Mayor Mayor Chennai, and I've been in constant touch with him, and he was guiding me. So you have to interact with those fields experts from that. to get the right input so we have been working with multiple people so we will expand our portfolio not only the engineers but uh, you need expert from all the fields to help you to create the product on that one wishing you and your team all the very best thank you on behalf of et auto there thank you heard our vel sami president uh, technology and uh, product development automotive division mahindra mahindra detailing about the engineering of the new uh, thar rocks and how and why he thinks SUV will remain uh, a, a favorite uh, for cu customers for a long time. On that note, thank you for watching this interview. Take care. Goodbye.